Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again and welcome to another episode of the England in Rio mini-series in Career Motor here on Xbox One. Of course, we progressed through the group stage a couple of days ago. You saw us get through against Chile, Belgium and who was the other team in our group? Scotland. So uh, we're in the second round, the first knockout round of the World Cup. We've got Italy. We, you know, Normally in the second round you hope for a, a quote-unquote lesser team, but Italy must have come second in their group So because, uh, of course, we won the group. So uh, really, really surprised to have a team this strong and this competitive at uh, this early stage of the competition but still it's, you have to beat the big teams if you want to win the competition so we might as well beat Italy now rather than wait until the semi-final or final etc so we uh, we had a decent start there Phil Jones drawing the first shot and pulling it wide unfortunately playing him in centre mid again because uh, a couple of players were quite tired Michael Carrick and and or Jack Wilshire were uh, particularly tired. Stevie Gerrard is going to go close as well. Nice shot there. And unfortunately, we weren't able to get anything on target from that one. But we were going to pick up a corner five minutes before half time. In comes the cross. Up goes Michael Richards. Into the back of the net goes the ball. And we take an early ish 1 0 lead. Just before half time, it's exactly when you want to score a goal. It knocks the opposition's confidence. And it definitely puts you in the driving seat for the rest of the game. Absolutely delighted. Michael Richards with a wonderful header. He rises absolutely superbly. And I was hoping to get into half time with uh, you know riding on that wave of confidence but unfortunately they were going to pull one back Kandreva plays a lovely ball over the top and no one follows the run of Marquisio he's completely untracked and it's a great touch and finish wonderful first touch fantastic first time finish into the bottom corner and we are actually back at 1-1 heading into half time they scored just a minute after we did so after all the effort to get ourselves 1-0 up we get pegged back but not to worry we're going to push forward in the second half hopefully we can include or kind of increase the amount of chances we're having on the Italians goal and unfortunately, unfortunately for them, they were going to make a mistake that's going to let us back in the game. They tried to be clever. They tried to play it around at the back to uh, to work their way out of their defence. And it just failed. They were playing Sirigu in goal, not Gianluigi Buffon. And I'll be able to see from the replay, it's just a horrible pass. He's looking to play it to the centre-back. He's just nowhere near him. I think he was trying to play it to Chiellini. He's just nowhere near him. Jack Wilson snaps in there and he's able to uh, to get the ball personal 2-1 up. Delighted, especially just 10 minutes after half time to get ourselves back in the game. Another defensive mistake. This time it's Araldo. I'm not really too sure who he even is. And Wayne Rooney is the one to uh, to nick the ball off the defender. Smash the ball into the bottom corner. Salvatore Sirigu, absolutely no chance. And just 20 minutes into the second half, we've increased our lead to 3-1. But Giuseppe Rossi has no excuses for putting that ball over the bar. Just like uh, just like Daniel Sturridge in the game against Belgium a couple of days ago, there's just no reason why he shouldn't have put that into the back of the net. And they will be extremely disappointed to have not got themselves at least within one goal with uh, quite a substantial amount of time left. But we're on the we're putting the pressure in here, as you can see in. Uh, the 87th minute we're actually going to win a penalty there I thought it was for a foul on JT and uh, he's oh no it's Phil Jones isn't it but actually you watch him he heads the ball against the player's arm or the player's hand so it is actually handball and uh, Phil Jones unfortunately picked up an injury from that one and uh, will be out for the next game but Leighton Baines powers the ball into the top right hand corner we take probably what you might say is a surprise 4-1 lead against uh, against Italy of course they are in fact in England's group for the uh, for the Rio tournament in real life so maybe this is kind of a, a sign of what's going to happen I hope it's a sign of what's going to happen because if we can win the game and uh, beat Italy then we stand a good chance of getting through that group stage because of course we've got Uruguay in there as well but uh, we are going to run out 4-1 winners in this second round game so we are going to progress through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup and as you can see only one other game has been played so far Portugal beating Hungary 3-0 so uh, we'll have to wait and see who we get in the next round but that's going to bring this one to a close guys so please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that'd be absolutely superb of course we will have a team of the year pack opening for you tonight we're looking for midfielders this time so be sure to keep an eye on your sub boxes around about eight o'clock for that and uh, that's going to bring this one to a close then so thank you very much for watching there will be a link in the description and an annotation in the top right hand corner if you aren't subscribed to the channel and you would like to do so of course this is just a mini series for the uh, for the world cup we are will be returning back to the chelsea career mode next week so if you don't want to miss out on any of that be sure to hit that subscribe button drop the video a like show me some support in the comments and i will see you next time